Charles Glover is a pastor, a community activist, a Charleston County School District constituent school board member, and now he wants to be the next state representative for South Carolina House District 116 once Robert Brown retires. I speak exclusively with Charles for this edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Charles Glover. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Quentin's Close-Ups. <laughs> oh, yes. It's been a while. It has been a while. Yes, sir. I understand from my research that now you are one of the candidates for South Carolina House District 116. Yes, sir. You know, it covers Hollywood, Ravenel, you know, all of those places, mostly in Carleton County as well. And I know, obviously, too, you're a pastor. Yes. You're a constituent school board member. Yes. What got you from all of those powerful positions to now saying, hey, I want to be a state representative? Uh, I guess because I've, I've served the district for so long and um, being a community activist, uh, I did rural area development, um, serving the community. That's basically what I do. Uh, parents uh, in the district 23, they can pretty much say that there have not been a time that I have actually turned my back on them. Everybody knows that I've I've said what I said, you know, my, in other words, my word is my bond. Mm. Yeah. I serve the people in my district and the people in my district know when they need somebody to turn to or need help, they can call on me dealing with school issues. Um, I've uh, took on the challenge of rural area development. I brought uh, infrastructure into one of the, the home communities, uh, millions of dollars there. Um, a lot of people say that it can't be done, but if you know the county government and uh, we know how it operates when you're paying tax and half cent tax referendum that money the purpose of that money is to serve the different counties and in, in any type of development that's needed like uh, water drainage uh, sidewalk project I've got a mile and a half sidewalk project I've got uh, bought property for a recreational park 21 acres uh, even uh, four-headed the um, the property for fire station number eight for St. Paul District. Right. And that's a new fire station that we have in, in the community. Right. And um, they implemented a bridge. I don't know whether you've been into the Pockets Ferry area there. They have a, um, a steel bridge that they had the special order to bring in for the crosswalk by the adjacent bridge there. Huh. So there's been millions of dollars that I brought into the community. Um, th that's what you call community development, community leader because you have to lead. I want to get to that in just a minute. Obviously, you talk obviously about the needs in the community. What exactly are those right now, Charles? The needs in the community right now, uh, my pet peeve is education. Uh, our school system are failing our kids. We need to take a, take a better look at things and instead of funding schools that are pretty much standing on their own and go back to the rural area development, areas where we have like the sea island say for instance i've always been taught from many years ago back in the late 70s mm -hmm. that when you are elected uh elected official for the area the rural area in the st paul area uh, even in the house seat the state state house seat always take care of the sea island and that was something that was uh and better than me since I can say from courtesy Nam at the time, you got McKinley Washington time. Sure. You have to take care of the rural area. Rural area development, it means a lot because if you don't take care of it, you're gonna have companies gonna come in and you know pretty much run you out, you know, because we got situations like that here at Hand in Charleston. How do you prevent that from happening down on the Sea Islands and in Carlington County? We have to stand together as, as one and and let everybody know, let the, the county government know, let the House of Representatives know, our, our, our representative you have, that this is what we stand for. This is what we are asking because you're not going to come and bring in and you're not going to give anything. You're going to have to come down and say, okay, we got, uh, say for instance, we got uh, low income homes. The average developer is a billing $120,000 home. What about those that can't afford those $120,000 homes? So let's, let's bring it down to uh, low income homes. Okay. Let's bring it down to maybe fifty dollars or $60,000 homes where you can say, okay, you got a payment of maybe three, dollars $400, that, something that you could afford per month. You know, we got to make it more feasible for those that are not fortunate. 
how many of those affordable homes that you just mentioned that you want to bring to House District 116? Well, actually, it's coming. It's already in the proposal for the town of Ravenel. Okay. They have that proposal in there. You got the Midwest Vehicle Development oh, that's yeah. coming. You got uh, uh, hundreds of homes coming there. You got 750 homes that's, that's actually on the agenda. And nine times out of ten, I, I believe they're working out where they've been questing about the low-income homes. So I'm quite sure that it is. It is there. It's already in the proposal um, for some low-income homes to be in there because I know they had the average house was like right. for one house per five acres. Right. So I know in order to get all that taken care of, you got to have something in there for those that are unfortunate. What else would you put in the proposal if you were a state representative today? Well, I would put I would put a I would propose a bill. Uh, that way, it would take care. You know, you got you. You can't forget about the seniors. You can't forget about the seniors, the, the low-income folks. You put uh, let's put a, a cap in there where they can't be taxed no more than what they actually are. I even lower the tax for our seniors. I would propose a bill for that because every time you build hundred and two hundred thousand dollar home, taxes got the tendency of being increased. Because I'm, I'm definitely getting tax raises. So we got to propose a bill where those that are at a certain age that their taxes don't increase. They, they got to be able to live. Over the past, say, five years, how much has the tax been able to increase in your mind? Um, tax did go up and within the past five years. It did go up. And then we had the, the five cent tax referendum. And um, I think there was another school tax that that had went forward I think in five years but I know that there's a bond that's coming up in this election I think for the school district and you know that's if and because we got to have something in there where I would say we got to have a law that introduced to the house rural area schools are tired of being cut short Every time you look around, there's a cutback, but it's always coming to the rural area schools. So we need to propose a bill to the house to protect the rural area schools, or every year when the funding goes into the different counties, that there will be money that would always go into the rural area schools instead of going into the schools that don't need help. And I want to get back to that in just a second. You talk about funding. Let me talk to you about how much funding you bring to the district as far as broadband access. Well, broadband, I think that would take, you would have to take a billion dollar, I'll say with about a billion dollar to cover the whole district. Okay. I would think it would take about that much money to to expand from Walmart Island all the way out to Colleton County. Actually, it doesn't go out to 95, it stops at the Highway 15 in Walterboro. Right. But it, it, I would say about a billion dollar would take it get it started and if it's not completed with that amount of money then that way we could always propose a bill we are propose another one to finish you know take care of that expense or just have an attachment where if the billion dollars does not fit then we can always go back and reallocate some funding for it funding for it and let me get back to education how pleased are you with the Charleston County School District thus far with these rural schools I'm very disappointed I'm very much disappointed. Um, the school system is failing to educate our kids, especially in the rural area, the Sea Island area. Because when I go before Charleston County School Board, my word is always the rural area schools. Because I'm speaking on behalf of all the schools in the rural area, because every time you look around every year, there's always a cutback. No, we had a cutback. But what about the schools that are striving? What about the schools that have funding? What about the schools that have uh, parents that could afford to pay money into the school system for additional uh, classes or additional teachers and stuff like that. We don't have it in the rural area. We are being cut short. But that's why my first thing is to propose a bill to the house that adequate funding would be sent to the rural area schools that needs help. Not the schools that are striving that don't need funding. Why, why put money into schools that doesn't need help? But then you got schools that's in the rural area that are struggling. Can't have additional teachers. They, they just proposed um, um, something for the school district. Um, 
I know that there's a five year period for the vocational. That's already in the plan. You know, that's something that's automatically is coming already because I know at Baptist Hill High School, they're in the process within that time frame to build a vocational wing. In other words, they're going to be doing construction again at Baptist Hill High School, mm. which is going to add the adequate classes, engineering classes, all this other stuff to it. That's already in the five year plan. So we're looking forward to that and we're looking forward to bringing in more teachers, more funding. Well, instead of um, having classes for art, PE, and um, was art, PE, and another class that they had, music. Yes, sir. Um, instead of having it twice a week, we'd be able to have it every day. And why are we not having it every day? Because we don't have the funding. I want to ask you that in just a second. I hope this battery's running on me, unfortunately. But where would the funding come from, Charles? The funding we have to propose. A, we have to go to the house. As myself, I will be the representative for this district. I will propose a bill for the funding for the rural area schools, especially the Sea Island schools, for extra additional funding. That way, we can have these uh, vocational classes. We can have the art, music, and, and PE classes every day, like the other schools are okay you know and the extra teachers that we need because instead of having 30 kids in the classroom we can break it down to having 20 kids in the classroom where we can be able to educate our kids more how many teachers do we need right now in 116 in your mind we would probably need mm, in 116 i would say we'd probably need about maybe 30 teachers 30 to 40 teachers in the district as a whole and 116 district as a whole mm. i believe we need about 30 40 it could be more but i know for a fact for the area in which i live i know we are short of teachers in district 23. and how short are you when it comes to infrastructure where does the funding for that the funding for that it, it lies down to it boils down to the the county the school ccsd um because they're the one that gets the budget and yes or no, do you approve of single member districts? Yes, I approve of single member district because it doesn't make sense to have somebody that doesn't live in your district to represent your district. Okay. You know, it, 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 it doesn't it doesn't fit. Charles Glover, thank you for your time and welcome back to Quentin's Close Ups. Nice to be here again. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice to meet you, Quentin. You too. All right.